This video explains how the implantable telescope technology works and is not a full description of VisionCare's implantable miniature telescope by Dr. Isaac Lipschitz, utilized in the Centrosite treatment program. For more information on the risks and benefits of this implant, please read the patient information booklet at www.centrosite.com and discuss it with your doctor. The Centra Site Treatment Program uses an implantable medical device, which is indicated for implantation in one eye to improve vision in patients with stable, severe, to profound vision impairment caused by bilateral central scotomas, or blind areas, associated with end-stage age-related macular degeneration. Patients must meet age, vision, cornea health, and other requirements noted in the patient information booklet. Our vision is instrumental in connecting us to our surrounding environment. Healthy vision keeps us safe while crossing the street, guides us through our daily activities, and allows us to enjoy intimate moments with friends and loved ones. But our vision can degrade and worsen over time, sometimes due to diseases affecting the back of the eye. One such disease, age-related macular degeneration, accounts for many new cases of blindness each year. A particular type of AMD, end-stage AMD, is the most advanced form of the disease. Fortunately, it does not cause total blindness as peripheral vision is spared. However, it does cause central blindness, which can make it very difficult or impossible to carry out many daily activities such as reading, watching television, or recognizing friends. Today, a new treatment program is available for those affected with end-stage AMD. The Centra Sight Treatment Program utilizes a telescope implant, which has been shown to be safe and effective to improve vision in candidate patients through clinical trials and is an FDA-approved medical device. Over the next few minutes, you will be introduced to the Centra Sight Treatment Program. You will learn what the program consists of and how your quality of life can possibly be improved following your treatment. If you have been diagnosed with end-stage AMD, the telescope implant used in the Centra Sight Treatment Program could improve your vision and reconnect you to the things you love to see and do. To many people, vision is the most valued of our senses. We rely on our vision to help navigate the surrounding environment as well as to savor the beauty of the world around us. When vision degrades due to advanced forms of AMD, individuals can become disconnected from their surroundings, leaving them vulnerable to harm and a decreasing quality of life. In order to understand how the telescope implant utilized in the Centra Sight Treatment Program can help improve both your vision and quality of life, it helps to first be familiar with the inner workings of your eyes and vision system. The healthy eye is comprised of several elements which work together to produce normal vision. Two of these elements, the lens in the front of the eye and the macula in the back, work to provide clear, sharp central vision. Light from a distant object first passes through the lens which focuses the image onto light-sensing cells in the macula. The macula makes it possible to see well enough to recognize faces and colors and to see objects in fine detail. The area surrounding the macula is responsible for peripheral or side vision. Peripheral vision helps to establish orientation and aids in mobility, but it is usually too blurry to contain fine detail. While peripheral vision is less detailed, it does provide important environmental cues. Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is a disease of the macula which can lead to varying levels of impaired vision, from mild visual disturbance to central vision blindness. In the dry form of AMD, small yellow fatty deposits called drusen form on the back of the eye or retina. This can advance to geographic atrophy, which results in a permanent degeneration of the macula with associated central vision loss. When this dry form of AMD progresses in this way in both eyes, it is referred to as end-stage AMD. The condition accounts for many new cases of legal blindness each year. 
Because it affects the macula, dry AMD causes impaired central vision, making it difficult to see things straight ahead clearly. However, peripheral or side vision is rarely affected by AMD. Dry AMD accounts for nearly 90% of all AMD cases. However, the condition can develop into the more rapidly progressing wet form of AMD. Wet AMD is caused by the growth of abnormal blood vessels, which can result in scarring of the macula. When this occurs in both eyes, this is also an end-stage form of AMD. As a result, a patient's central vision loss can be permanent and severe. The central vision blind spot that occurs due to end-stage AMD can significantly affect a patient's ability to perform everyday activities and can severely decrease a person's quality of life. People experiencing vision loss due to end-stage AMD may feel frustrated and isolated because they can no longer see people and objects clearly. Additionally, central vision loss is invisible to others, so even friends and family may not fully comprehend the impact on their loved one's life. Individuals with end-stage AMD often find everyday activities difficult or impossible to perform due to missing central vision. Unfortunately, at this time there is no cure for end-stage AMD, and there is no way to repair the macula to reverse its effects. Individuals with varying levels of vision loss are often prescribed handheld telescopes or magnifying lenses in order to compensate for their decreased vision. They are generally utilized for specific stationary tasks. Also, surgical procedures like cataract surgery are not designed or shown to improve central vision in patients with end-stage AMD. Recently, technological advancements in optics, surgical implants, and vision therapies have culminated in a first-of-kind treatment option that is now available. The Centrosite Treatment Program represents a breakthrough treatment option to improve vision in patients with end-stage AMD. This program features the implantable telescope technology, a small surgically implanted telescope that can help compensate for vision loss to AMD. The telescope implant, about the size of a pea, is implanted into the eye after removal of the natural lens. A viewed image enters through the telescope implant, where it is magnified and projected onto healthy areas of the retina. It is this area around the macula not affected by AMD that the telescope uses to help improve straight-ahead central vision. The telescope implant is virtually unnoticeable inside the eye. Patients wear standard eyeglasses to provide proper focus to see both close up and far away and use natural eye movements to scan the environment. By way of magnification, the objects viewed are enlarged as shown here. The non-implanted eye is used to provide peripheral vision. In the Centrosite treatment program, patients learn to use one eye for peripheral vision and the eye with the telescope implant for central vision. Again, the macula itself is not repaired. Visual rehabilitation training from professional specialist providers works to integrate the vision capabilities allowed by the telescope implant into the patient's everyday activities. As a result of their improved vision, these patients can experience an increased quality of life that was not available before receiving treatment. For eligible patients who have lost their sight as a result of end-stage AMD, they can have the opportunity to reconnect to the things they love to see and do. The Centra Sight Treatment Program involves four steps that start with diagnosis and continue after surgery. There will be many opportunities for you to ask the treatment providers questions before opting for surgery, and you should be aware of what to expect during each stage. The first step starts with a thorough diagnosis of your condition and medical history. The program is designed for patients with end-stage AMD, the most advanced form of age-related macular degeneration. To be considered as a possible candidate for the treatment, you must first be examined by a retina specialist to confirm whether you have end-stage AMD. Your retina specialist will perform a medical eye exam followed by a review of your medical history including any conditions that may make the procedure difficult for you or increase the likelihood of complications. 
Your physician will also explain the benefits and risks of the treatment program, as well as answer any questions you may have. If it is determined that you are a possible candidate for receiving treatment, your retina specialist will refer you to the next phase of the patient assessment for additional testing. You will be evaluated from a visual perspective to see if you are likely to benefit from the telescope implantation surgical procedure, and if so, which eye is best suited for treatment. The evaluation includes a low vision specialist testing your vision using external telescope simulators. The results of these tests can help give you and your Centrosite team a good idea of what your vision may be like after the telescope implantation surgery and if the effect of the magnification in one eye will be useful to you. The low vision specialist will also talk to you about how your new vision status may affect your everyday life and how working with the low vision occupational therapist can help you reach your treatment goals. The external telescope simulation and evaluation by low vision specialists will help you determine whether the potential visual improvement in your eye can meet your individual expectations in terms of vision and performance of daily activities. You may be considered a good candidate for the Centrosite treatment program if your vision is sufficiently improved while using an external telescope simulator. You feel you can become accustomed to the difference in vision between your eyes. There is a good chance of useful improvement in everyday activities and living. Your vision goals are realistic and achievable. And finally, you should be willing and able to work with low vision specialists for visual training and rehabilitation after the eye surgery. Again, you will have many opportunities to ask questions before opting for surgery. Additionally, prior to electing for treatment, patients are required to review the comprehensive patient information booklet detailing the procedure and follow-up treatment program. Following a successful screening, the next step in your treatment program, should you decide, is to receive the telescope implant. First, the implanting surgeon will assess your corneal health and explain the surgical procedure, including the risks and benefits. If the procedure is warranted, here is what you can expect. This procedure is relatively short, taking approximately one to one and a half hours, and you are able to return home the same day. In preparation for the surgery, your eye will be numbed at the beginning of the procedure so you will not feel any pain. Special eye drops will then be administered to temporarily enlarge your pupil. Next, your eye will be held open with a special instrument called a lid speculum and an operating microscope will be placed in front of your eye. The surgeon will then remove your eye's natural lens and place the telescope implant in the position where the natural lens was located. Finally, the surgical incision will be sutured closed. After surgery, you will have follow-up visits with your surgeon and you will be given eye drops to take for several weeks. In the last step, after you have recovered from surgery, Specially trained low vision optometrists and occupational therapists will work with you to prescribe eyeglasses and to complete your rehabilitation to help you adapt to and learn how to use your new vision in daily life. The post-operative rehabilitation program begins with an assessment of your goals and expectations. Here you can review the activities that are important for you to focus on, such as reading street signs or the fine print on medicine labels. Therapists will work with you on an individualized plan over several weeks to reach your personal goals. Within that plan, basic skills you will learn include localizing, locating an object of interest into the field of view of the telescope implant eye, fixating, focusing on an object in order to identify it, scanning, the natural eye movement performed by the telescope implant eye, tracing, following a path between two objects of interest, Tracking, following a moving object. Navigating, using your non-operated eye for non-central vision activities like navigation. Learning these skills under the guidance of your low vision team and practicing them at home will help you get the most from your new vision. Following your surgery, you will be able to use natural eye movements to see things that are close and far away, such as reading printed materials or watching television. However, 
Your peripheral or side vision will be restricted in the eye with the telescope implant. One of the skills you need to learn is how to switch your viewing back and forth between the eye with the telescope implant and the eye without the implant. You will also need to wear eyeglasses and may sometimes need to use a handheld magnifier with the telescope implanted eye to read or see fine details clearly. However, in general, less magnification will be needed after your surgery. The telescope implant is not a cure for end-stage AMD. It will not restore your vision to the level it was before you had AMD, and it will not completely correct your vision loss. Patients with this level of AMD have had to cease driving due to their vision. After the telescope procedure, although near and distance vision may improve, driving will not be possible because the implant does not restore normal vision. There are some risks associated with the telescope implantation surgery. These include inflammatory deposits or precipitates on the device and increased intraocular pressure. Significant adverse events include corneal edema, corneal decompensation, corneal transplant, and decrease in visual acuity. There is a risk that having the telescope implantation surgery could worsen your vision rather than improve it. Individual results may vary. However, the effectiveness of the telescope implant has been demonstrated in clinical trials and FDA studies. An FDA study found that 9 out of 10 patients with the telescope implant improved vision by at least two lines on the eye chart. In results from a survey in the FDA clinical trial, patients who received the telescope implant generally reported that they were less dependent on others, less frustrated and worried about their vision, less limited in their ability to see, and better able to visit with others and recognize facial expressions and reactions. Overall, the survey findings show patients had a clinically important improvement in quality of life. Your healthcare provider can answer any questions you may have regarding the Centra Site Treatment Program or the telescope implant, and additional information can be found in the Patient Information Booklet. The Centra Site Treatment Program can be an important step towards regaining your independence and improving your quality of life. If you or a loved one has AMD in both eyes that has advanced to end-stage AMD, Please speak with your healthcare provider about the implantable telescope technology and centrosite treatment program. It is possible to see more with your central vision and to reconnect you with things in life you love to see and do. If you are a potential candidate for the telescope implant, a centrosite care manager is available to answer your questions about the treatment program, your eligibility, and your insurance coverage, including Medicare benefits. Individual patient results may vary. Normal vision is not fully restored with the telescope implant, but patients can regain central vision and vision-related quality of life by varying levels. Not every patient may benefit from the telescope implant, and it may be contraindicated in some individuals. Please consult with your ophthalmologist to understand the potential risks of the telescope implant used in the centrosite treatment program to determine if it may be right for you, or refer to the patient information brochure at www.centrasite.com.